G'day and welcome back to our Cradle of Nightmares campaign in EU4. So, just went and uh, got a few marriages and forced Mazandran to break his alliance with Russia. They're also... This is a stupid thing that I don't think uh, Paradox thought of. Russia are allied to Korea and we can't force Korea to break their alliance with Russia because they're a subject of Ming, which does mean they're not supposed to be able to get alliances, usually. That's that whole tributary thing that uh, screws that. You can't do it through Ming because it just says that they don't have any allies and they wouldn't do it anyway because they're the uh, third rank great power. So, yes, uh, Russia are now one ally weaker and these guys are supposed to be down there. Alright, um, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and declare on Russia now. So, do that. We can't co per um Korea or they'll bring in Ming, I think. Um, so, imperialism go and then uh, hopefully all the vassals aren't doing much they'll uh, wander over there and do their thing meanwhile we're going to sort ourselves out up here are we still suffering attrition there something has changed it's... Hmm. six men over there should be fine okay well we'll grip these guys up So the difference here is the one extra cavalry. 54, supply limit 51. Wait with them. Yeah, something there seems wrong. The um, supply limits have changed, I think, is the only thing. So, there is a level 6 fort there. And there is a level 2 fort there. We are going to absolutely crush this, and at any point, if people want to attach their infantry to us, they're welcome. Corsican pretenders. Yo, Corsica. How do you feel about getting married? Already married him. Uh, what do we have? Oldenburg. And Croatia. I can go around marrying people whenever I think of it. Uh, Ragusa. And not the Pope. Ferrara. Uh, Savoy. So, so I should probably check this isn't actually getting added on. It's not. Good. Alright. Qualapi. Um. Oregon. Right. Let's get down there. Sort them out. Some other guys coming down to make trouble for us. Now, Zhu. I think we just have to wait for this one. Do it now while we're here. Good. So, Swift Peace with them, they will give us everything. They don't have a whole lot of money. And all good. It's a lot of overextension for these guys. But they're having problems anyway, so why not? Alright, that's all gone. And overextension plus 13.49. Yeah, I don't think they've been coring anything we've been giving them. They are trying, but they're at 200 and something ridiculous percent. Um, so, yeah, Portugal is going to be a bit of a problem. They just suck. They don't have a guy, but they do have a good bit of artillery. Um, we'll leave it for now. Go back over there later if we have to. In the meantime, I want to see how we start off this siege. The level 2 starts at 57%. Uh, really? Um, Belawar was Croatia. No. Bosnia. Um, that's no as well. The only one that we'd want to hand over is uh, the one that would go to Transylvania or Tenya. Okay. Alright, that starts on 21. And we've taken this. So, these guys are supposed to do autonomous suppression. Um, I've arrived. Who do we have in here? It's a 6 2. Alright, got Smolensk first attempt. <laughs> Get them onto the Moscow. Who's going to really walk into these and take them? We'll take a couple of tries every now and then, but mostly it'll be easy. Look at these guys coming in as well. Now, Russia starting with 
only 156,000, so he's a lot smaller than the Ottomans this time. And Pueblo Separatists are in already. Really. Too late for that, but um, sure. Get these guys up here. Oh, we've got a fort up there that'll help. Alright, get this back to Brittany. We are, of course, going the wrong direction. We've taken Novgorod after, I think, the second try. Uh, we could kill his army, but I'd rather just go do the forts, since this is really just a sieging army, not an attacking army. It's almost got supply in some of these. And yeah, manpower's gonna dive while we're taking attrition here. Alright, Taras on two, yes. Now, the other problem is um, Ethiopia's thing is really high because it's all relative power of vassals. Because all our other dudes it shouldn't really count towards him like that. Um, our Diplo rep brings it down by 50, so he's on like 150, so we have to get down 100, so we spend 200 prestige to bring him down. We will do it slowly. Um, what exactly does this give us? Plus 10% morale. Improved relations, aggressive expansion impact is important. Yeah, so we'll leave that. We'll just do it one at a time because it comes up by three per year at that rate. Cannon fodder. Gain a ton of manpower. Nuremberg gets stuff. Sure. Kill the Brandenburgers. They're not good for coring anything, so... Actually, should we check this? Unsbach. Or anybody inland. Uh, Ulm. Will we be able to give you this? No, damn it. All right. So this would go to Kiev eventually. Just give it over so we don't forget it later. All right, and Solova is back. He has to keep going around. So conversions, Cheb. All right, got them. Um, we just put these guys on suppression from up here. So I'll have to deal with stuff down here later. And Ethiopia is coming up nicely. Ottoman Sephiroth. Janayan and Lodenbergian Pretenders. And again, everybody's just gone ahead and left Europe. 32. We've got one year until we wanted to start France. Um, I don't think we'll get through these guys that quickly. Let's go over to this level 6. Not doing too badly there. Alright, Moscow's done. Shall we go help out? He's got a 2 and a 1. Of 42%. If we can get in just before this. There we go. 85%. That's how we roll. Next fort. Uh, we can head down to here. Astrakhan. Yeah, that's going to be the way to go. Everyone else will backfill with the uh, little bits and pieces they have. a lot of enemy armies just there. Yeah, this Portuguese was gonna suck. And Diplo Tech. Good, we can catch up. So now we can go even further ahead of time with the others. Particularly for the supply on military. Alright, there goes Nizhny. So, same thing again. We'll get over to Kassan. And yeah, Bohemian stack. Two Bohemian stacks, so they don't want to do anything. Um, can't improve with him, but we could buy them down. Four, we'd have to spend 80. Oh, screw it. Bring them down that far, and then this comes up like seven per year. Uh, shoots us in the foot with the aggressive expansion impact and stuff, but I think we'll be okay. Now, what else can we spend admin on? And who was Hungary's told to do sieges, really? Um, to be aggressive, I mean. Let's get them doing sieges. Alright, admin you can spend on reducing inflation. Because we need the money. Let's 
spend Diplo, spend Diplo on uh, Culture Conversion. Spend Admin on Coring. Hmm, otherwise, it's gonna be a couple of years until we can slip under the cap. Alright, Kazan done. Let's get over to Perm. Hey, it's level 8 in Perm. Alright, head not do the rest. And they're still slowly going there. At least we've got guys close together down here. Alright, with Astrakhan done. Gonna have to head over to Korea at some point, so we can ignore coring distance. Means we can just grab stuff here and start blowing out around this way, I guess. Except Ming's gonna cause issues. And Japan is a tributary of Ming. Right. Well, we'll see what we can take from Korea. Again, let's spend Diplo doing things to Korea. We haven't caught up. Settler increase, colonial range, nothing there at all that matters. Alright, well, we've won Kuzco, so get over to the next one. And Portugal will never marry us. D'Souza would stay Portuguese. We can't rival him, can't rival anyone. Right, the Bohemians are starting walking. And yeah, Austria and Mexico is never really going to finish his cause because of all the things on it. Um, his unrest is still 13.36 from overextension, so that's what, 260 something percent. Alright, kill his armies there. That's interesting. We overrun kill it pretty quickly, and that should be in uh, not too long. 37. Gain Diplo, or gain 4,000 ducats. We'll gain 50 Diplo. Would you spend 50 Diplo? <laughs> Would you spend 4,000 ducats for 50 Diplo? Apparently, yes. And yeah, they're doing this a little weirdly, but it'll work out. Uh, Toddenackers. And yeah, we're up here, so... I think we need to start killing some armies. Let's come over to the fort, which is woods. We'll be fine. We can start doing these forts around here. All right. They even get on the boats automatically. That's nice. Where the hell he thinks he's going then? Holy crap. Saw the number of guys there and they're folding. Greens in there as well. Alright, we get honest administrators. Saves us a little bit of money. Saving 10% of 8 point something. Right, Air Separatists will be gone. I want to keep an eye on this fight. I wouldn't actually have expected to win that. What else do we have in there? First mercenary infantry. We need to push in front of the cannons, not stand behind them. But yeah, killed 30, 40,000 of his men. Nice. I'll kill some more in here in a second. In the steps. Okay. Just been ridiculous. Provo separatists, Navajo separatists. It's all good. And Milan's getting involved. Actually, what do we have now? Yeah. A lot of artillery, but, um... Hey, Chen Chen. Alright, it's another level 8. What was that? That was level 2 as well. That was so fast. And he... is very slowly progressing it. We'll actually just need him to win that. Help him out as far as we can. We seriously just got extra Sage ability on our masterful Sage guy. And they just got their boost there. Let's uh, drag them in. Alright, finish improving with Ethiopia. Not quite at 190. Lots of separatism. 
these guys are going to suffer crazy attrition on the way through to Korea. So we should probably just forget that. Just need to piece Korea out. ASAP. Minus 39, yeah. They're going to suck. And the Papal State is the new Papal Controller. So, try that again. 83% chance if the poop dies in his 40s. Alright, chance of that happening. Alright, one good and car. Rest is already done. Um, where are you going, buddy? You locked into here. Which is a forest. That's forest as well. Where we go this way and then try and uh, catch them afterwards. Again, these guys are terrible because there's way too much artillery. Copping a minus two with artillery in the front line. Oh, we lost Sen Senambuco. Oh, we actually crushed his entire army. That'll help. Right, so that was a capital. We are finally doing stuff down here. I think that's just because he focused in the north. Um, and we're just trying to cherry pick forts from here. This one, we get a bit of a boost. Alright, Keridan. Again, picks that wrong. <laughs> he didn't even have infantry there. Well done, buddy. Wherever that was, wasn't this one. Six days, and he's dead. Good. Just catch. I think that's this guy coming over. That was the two... No, somewhere else. Alright, missed them. But right, that's all good. So, what's on offer? Construct the Keel Canal. Because we have 10,000. Um, Keel Canal is the stupidest one in the world. But we shall convert some totemists instead. New Austria Proms of Kichisipi. Alright, a truce with France is done. We have nobody in position to do that so that's gonna wait actually let's just get these guys over to France and stand in core um, is there a halt button because I want to go over to them alright go to you stop there we actually want to turn on Two per province. No, it's fine. It's no rush. We just suffer the attrition as he slowly marches out. But, yes, get over to core. And these guys slowly working their way through. Suffering 3.7% attrition on their way. Yeah. They're going to feel a lot of pain. We're in the woods attacking main force. Yeah, they slipped out. Sunni zealots are actually going to do conversions there. Okay. Australia declared independence on England. Good. Actually not good because we would have been able to take them in the next war because England's only uh, no, 138% somehow. Okay. So a lot of islands or something. I'm not sure why Friesland thinks he's allowed to stand there. Oh, hello. Russian army came through Schweden. And he slipped around to our fort as well. Backed off that one. Alright, um, you know, if we just get... One Yazoo. Um, yeah, if we just get one of these... Then we should definitely be able to pace them out, so that's fine. Might actually spend the Diplo. 1733. Well, that's very soon. I only need 388. Alright. Oh, yeah, we're going in 14. I forgot we were so far with them. And this guy is not doing anything. He's already retaken it. So get over to 
Chickasaw. Actually. He's already locked now. I want to just go down there. Um, he's probably safer. It's level 8. No, turn around. I hate doing level 8 forts. Yeah, where are you going? Into the marshes. Alright. Hey, we got a third guy. And people of influence continues to climb. See, so one bumper is done. This was the one that was going to help them out. Then head over to retake that other capital. Portuguese Brazilian capital. Alright, um, admin. Again, it's going to take a stupid amount of time to come down. So. Um, not that much you can spend admin on. I guess we're just going to do development after all. Alright, uh, according to just the amount of money, it's fine. Alright, spread the love. There we go. Spend it all. Won't have to worry about it again for a while now. So we could have taken some land. Probably be a good way of doing things. How is this going? Yeah, it's still moving. Alright, the Battle of Pinsiong. Hey, we've arrived. Okay. And what are we doing? We're doing just military these days. The last one is 29. That's ages away. Okay. So, Korea was 266, and we didn't co them. him. So, everything's going to cost a fortune. Yeah, our guy is dead. Do we want discipline? Hey, he's English. Okay. Discipline guy. Puts our discipline at 113.4. Yeah, that's um. Extra points aren't going to happen then, are they? Not having high discipline. I uh, don't know what we're getting next. Artillery damage from back row, I think. And it's still finding your way through. Oh. Almost destroyed him already. It appears that. We're greedy. Secretive and greedy. We've won Puno. That is not where Puno is. Puno. Good. Um, there's a fort. A light fort there. We'll go do that. Oh, good. Austria and Colombia has come down to do that for us again anyway. And we're still somehow managing to lose this four. Minus 25. Need to take Pensacola. Pensacola. Up here. We are near there. All right, with Han Xiong done, we can stand here anyway. Let's go take his other one. And, damn it. Pensacola's over there. All right, um, get over here. We actually won that battle. We have no men to refill the army. Which is quite a problem. Uh, regain should be fast. It's only 2,000. Um, that was the one that we already had as well. Okay. Well, level one fort with one siege will take a little bit of time. Um, feel free to attach to us here, though. Alright, Filani's and Kazan and you have a pie. We have a pie. Yeesh. And Navajos. Ah, crap. That's the one we're still doing. Alright, Timbuktuans, Nizhny, Razan, and wherever else. Oh, Russia's going to have issues here. So Cossacks, Particularists, and Noble Rebels. And he's being a bastard doing that. Alright. Pensacola is ours. So we're up to 29 on them. But, next question really is... How long is this going to take? Do it now. Our cause is just. Oh, well, look at that. Alright, so one Yongju. Super piece here. 
Um, I mean, they're all going to be under Ming, so we can't attack anything anyway. And ongoing battle. He's now gone. Alright. So, thinking. Can't do anything. We would want to uh, take his forts. Fort level 2 and fort level 8. Yeah, so, that's fine. And then. We can't do jack. Wow. Alright, we just take his capital. And. It's only 36 dip. Um, kind of one of Anoli's treaty as well, but this will do. Alright, make sure that we black flag our way home. And closest bit will be... Actually, we want to get to France. Let's just go... to Languedoc. Alright, and that has to be cored. Need 103, fair enough. Um, what's it doing? Unrest in Hangzhou is low enough. Alright, and he is pathing around, so that's all good. Now, Russia, um, he's taking this, but Kiev will go somewhere else. Cool, so I'm going to organise this during the break. But thanks for watching, hope you're enjoying it, and hope to see you again soon. See you later.